So, uh, here's the down low. I'm at the ER because my mom broke her finger. My dad's in there with her. And I'm sitting in the parking lot because it's they're only allowed to have one person in. I'm thinking about baptizing my kids, something I'm so excited about. And I wanted to share it with my mom and dad. They wanted to be a part of it. So we were waiting for them to get here. And, uh, yeah, we just, between moving recently and, anyways, I didn't make it happen. I didn't plan. I want to do it Sunday, but I haven't even talked to the pastor about it. We were going to do it down at the lake, but now everybody's all got different schedule things. And, and we lost our passports, not our current passports, but we had visas and other passports. Somehow they got separated. We always keep the visa passport with the renewed passport, but for whatever reason in the last 180 days, we didn't. And uh, so we were thinking about how we could get around that. We've been looking for them. We decided to send in for visas because we just heard from someone from the Mali Embassy who actually went and knocked on the door of the embassy in DC and they're like, "Oh yeah, we're still we're still doing it." Well, you couldn't tell by phone or email or website. They would there was no contact. Their message box is full and as far as I can tell has been for years. So that was good news. We said we'd send it out, send them in. And uh, somebody wrote and said that theirs when they sent it in recently took 2 weeks to get back to them. It's supposed to be a five-day turnaround, which would put us at the day we're going to leave. So... <laughs> and the day we're going to leave, two weeks from now, we don't have tickets. And we don't have 90% of the funding that we're supposed to have. We put a lot of energy into doing a garage sale with Heidi's parents, which I'm really glad we did. You know, I felt like it was an opportunity for us to serve and thank them, and um, I wouldn't change it for anything. It was really, we got to spend good time with them, and um, yeah, so that's where we put our energy recently. And Heidi's got one more day, these last two days, plus a couple of days before that, preparing for it, and Tomorrow we're doing a half day, and then we'll give the rest of it away. And I'm confident that God's going to do it. I don't know what his plan was all along. I never really thought that he was going to tell me. You know, he doesn't usually do that. But it seemed to me like a good idea for us to go back to Mali, despite worldly perspective you know that felt like the way God was leading and it still does you know we're still aiming at it we're still planning to go though as it stands right now it doesn't seem possible it doesn't seem possible for us to go back to Mali and for our kids to go to boarding school on time which right now feels like a pretty big loss. If it was in my control, that's something I would have loved to have done for Joe and Harley to get them there on time. And I was counting on God to do it. If it's not his choice, I know it's for something better. It doesn't do, God doesn't do second best. Guess that's it.